I am currently sat in a Tesla Model 3 Performance, the dual motor one with track mode. Um, I'm doing a bit of winter testing with Michelin. This is Michelin's car. Thank you, Michelin, for letting me shoot this. Now, I've noticed during testing, as I was setting up uh, the dynamics of the car, this car, and I think it's only the Model 3 Performance, this car allows you to set either 100% front-wheel drive or 100% rear-wheel drive or anywhere in between. Lots of people are wondering whether front-wheel drive is better than rear-wheel drive or is four-wheel drive really that much better in the snow. So I thought, why not test it while I've got one car that'll pretty much do everything? Now, it's wearing what we know as one of the best ultra-high performance all-season tires in the snow, the Michelin Pilot Sport All-Season 4. So it's a very good tire. It's a very progressive tire. It's a very balanced tire that's really going to allow me to extract the most out of this Tesla. And my plan is just to do a lap in front-wheel drive mode, a lap in rear-wheel drive mode, a lap in all-wheel drive mode, talk you through each of the laps as I'm doing them, and hopefully get some good result at the end to work out how much faster all-wheel drive, if at all, is. So far in this car, I've had an amazing time testing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly what it will do at the extreme ends of drivetrain. One thing left to do, and that's just get testing, get driving. Okay, you join me part way round the front wheel drive only mode. Two things. Firstly, you'll probably want to know what I've done with the settings. I have regenerative braking down at 25% because it's the worst trail braking in the world when it's a lot higher, uh, especially in the snow. So it really destabilizes the car. Secondly, I've noticed, I think it must be a Tesla thing, even though I'm in 100% front wheel drive and it certainly feels that in the corner because I've just got buckets of understeer and I'm constantly like waiting on the throttle. When you get the steering wheel to about center, you shoot out of the corner like you're the Millennium Falcon doing the Kessel Run. I'm guessing because it's Tesla and 0 to 60 times a paramount for the brand, even in 100% front wheel drive mode, uh, it still goes 50-50 when you're in a straight line accelerating. And this thing is freaking fast. Um, the, the primary characteristic is whenever I stand on the throttle during the corner, I just go straight and it's just no fun. So front wheel drive safe for the novice driver I'm not sure if this is going to be quick or not because I've not seen. We'll find out any second, but it's definitely not the most enjoyable driving experience. See that? I'm just feathering the throttle straight, 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 straight. And now I'm accelerating. Now it's like boop, a 101.3 in front wheel drive mode only. And that was a hundred seconds of me pretty much sighing. So I'm going to wind everything to the rear and then we're going to do a rear-wheel drive lap, which I assume is going to be more fun. I haven't actually tried it, so I'm wondering whether Tesla will let you have all the drive raids off, because it's you're still getting a bit of driver intervention, even with stability assist at minus 10. So I'm not sure what below zero is. Why isn't it just zero? Tesla people, please explain. But let's go try just rear-wheel drive. Well, Mr. Musk, I am sorry I ever doubted you. This is as about sideways as you can get without spinning. I'm doing it in a Tesla. 100% rear wheel drive is 100% rear wheel drive, except for when you're in a straight line, it seems. The Michelin XI, the Michelin Pilot Sport, all season four, I'm not on the XI Snow, that's for a different test, but subscribe for that if you want to see how the Cross Climate 2 does against the XI Snow and the PSAS4. Now this Pilot Sport All Season 4 is a beautifully progressive tire when you're sliding. So it's making me look good and it's making this car a very enjoyable car to drive because you can really get some big yaw on. The tire features really, really progressive grip balance. So unlike some all season tires, which are really grippy up until the limit and then fall off a cliff, this gradually falls off the cliff and it just allows you to control the car, giving you loads of confidence. And it's a really good match for this Model 3 performance, especially in real drive mode, because it's fantastic fun. And I know from tyreviews.com, a lot of people, a lot of Model 3 owners have moved to the PSAS4 and been very happy with it. But look how sideways you can get. I'm not sure if this is gonna come up on camera, but it's not quick, but it's way more front than front wheel drive and we're just coming around the final corner. Let's see if we can do it sideways. We certainly can. And it's a 99.1. There we go. Conclusive proof, rear wheel drive is the best wheel drive. For, forget, car manufacturers, just stop making front wheel drive. I've just proven you don't need to. That's fantastic. It's more fun, more smiles, and uh, faster. So 
well, I guess the weight balance of this car is about 50-50. So that helps with traction because of rearward weight balance. But I'm gonna switch it to 50-50 and we'll see just how fast 50-50 an equal drive between front and rear is. I am quickly becoming a fan of Teslas and with all the testing I do, all drive systems in the snow. Not in the dry, but in the snow. This is letting me get almost as sideways as the real drive mode but i'm just a little bit quicker everywhere it got a little bit more stability intervention so that minus 10 driver assistance or whatever it was is probably up about 10 percent because i'm definitely feeling it cutting more in as soon as we get some yours so that's my foot flat down and you can just see it holding but it is letting me drive it sideways especially if you trail brake in it's a fantastic car this is really really good fun i'm so impressed with this model 3 performance but i'm really excited to see just how much quicker if at all it definitely feels quicker but it's uh yeah now i just want a little bit more power and the tesla's not quite letting me have it because i just don't think it's happy with all the yaw we've got going on the car's going oh you're going sideways and i really don't want to be going sideways but it is a 94 second lap so that is a 101 against the 99 against the 94. So there we are, six seconds by driving everything. And you know what? I, <laughs> I really like this thing. I've really enjoyed test the limited testing I've done. I'm doing more testing later on. It's just not quite the right conditions for testing because we can't keep the surface consistent enough. But for this little test, it's been fantastic. Front wheel drive was bo boring but safe, I think is probably the, the correct way of describing it you just got a lot of push and pushing the corners and even when tesla was sneaking in some of the rear axle um it wasn't exactly fun rear wheel drive which i've just put it in tesla thank you so much for letting us do this please give us the ability to not uh not drive both axles when we're going straight the car says 100 percent rear but if i put my foot down now that is 100 percent both axles so please in a software update this has just had a software update actually it took me ages to find track mode uh please could we have the ability to just actually do 100 percent rear i promise i won't do naught to 60 times in it but all wheel drive obviously when you're driving twice as many wheels even for only part of the lap because obviously as i've just said in a straight line the tesla does drive them all and, and my foot's flat and that's definitely not all the power other things you might be interested in if you're a Tesla person, well, I started this with 88% battery and I'm now at 72%. It is, I don't know how, it's 19 Fahrenheit out, so it's pretty cold for these batteries and I've been driving pretty heavy footed, but I've only done, I've done the three laps you've seen and then three more laps in between the laps you've seen. So I've not done a huge amount of distance, but I'll put a picture of my average consumption up on screen now so you can see. My projected range with 72% battery is 57 miles. So even in the snow, um, <laughs> you, you're using the, the charge quite hard, which is a shame, but fantastic car. Thank you to Michelin. Go buy some Michelin tires. We know they're some of the best tires in the world in almost every category, if not every category. I'd have to stop and think about that. But thank you to Michelin for letting me use their Tesla and trusting me for whacking around in real drive mode only. Um, it's been a really interesting test. Any questions, ask below. I hope you found it interesting. I think the data is really good. Six seconds, I think. I'm going to have to go back, watch this video and put the data on screen because I've forgotten because I'm so excited about driving in the car. But yeah, six seconds from real drive and the real drive did have a slight advantage. I think the majority of that advantage honestly just came from the fact I was having to feather the throttle, feather the throttle so much with front wheel drive and then you lose your momentum. If you're trying to turn and throttle and you're pushing on, you've just got to lift off the power. At least, which is the safest for the road, but at least uh, in real wheel drive mode, you can stay on the power, get on some oppo lock and feel like a hero. Um, enjoyable experience, enjoyable car. Any questions, ask below. Please subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a test with this car, with the Michelin Cross Climate 2, the Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 4, and the Michelin XI Snow. Building on the test we did last year, everyone's been asking for it. Uh, it's probably going to come out after this because we're going to go and do wet and dry testing as well, so you have a full picture of how the different tyres work. Uh, I'm very excited about that, especially using this in the dry, because I've never driven a Model 3 performance in the dry or wet, so uh, I'm probably going to be astounded by the performance. Uh, thank you for watching. 
Sorry I've talked so much. Ciao. Oh no, wait. Thank you for watching. Sorry I've talked so much. And as always, safe motoring.